Hello, everyone, and welcome to our webinar, Simplifying Digital Signage with Apple TV. Uh, thanks for joining us. While everyone's still getting signed in, we'll go over a few housekeeping items. This webinar will be recorded, and we will share out the recording with you um, shortly after the webinar is finished. Please think of some questions also throughout the webinar and direct them to our Q&A section. We'll be answering them throughout and at the end of the webinar. If we don't get to all your questions, we'll follow up with you afterwards. Lastly, you can always reach out to info at jamf.com, um, which will get you in contact with someone at Jamf pretty quickly. So today's webinar is Simplifying Digital Signage with Apple TV. Today I'm joined by two great individuals, Eric Henry, the president of Carousel Digital Signage, and Chris Dukas, Apple support engineer at Camping World. You'll hear from there, both Eric and Chris shortly. I'm Rick Lucero, business development executive for the retail and transportation space at Jamf. So today we're gonna to talk about digital signage, specifically with Apple TV, displaying the content via Carousel Digital Signage, talk about why Jamf and Carousel are better together, and then hear from Chris about some examples of how his organization is using this solution. For those of you who may not fully know who Jamf is, allow me to share a little bit. Jamf helps organizations succeed with Apple and also is the standard of Apple Enterprise Management. So Jamf's Apple Enterprise Management solutions are here to help organizations connect, manage, and protect Apple devices. In today's webinar, we'll dive into some of the challenges that enterprise faces when it comes to deploying and managing digital signage on Apple TV. We'll discuss some solutions to those challenges with one of our three enterprise-focused products, Jamf Pro. I should note that Jamf focuses on, on, on all Apple devices across the entire enterprise, not just Apple TV, from securely connecting users to resources to efficiently managing devices and apps, all while protecting data and privacy. In fact, Jamf helps more than 50,000 organizations manage over 20 million Apple devices and counting. When the enterprise needs a world leader in Apple management, they turn to Jamf. The world's largest banks, tech companies, and most valuable brands, all the largest companies choose Jamf for Apple management. And there are many reasons, but one major reason is our longstanding history with supporting Apple. We have an exclusive focus on Apple and a history of providing same-day support for their new operating systems and services. What it means for you is that Jamf ensures your end users can take advantage of new Apple capabilities the day that they become available. Okay, so back to the task at hand, digital signage, and more specifically, using an Apple TV for digital signage. As our friend over at Camping World, Chris, will share with us a little later, there's a lot of options out there for digital signage players. Organizations just like yours are trying to best communicate consistent messages and key information to employees and customers. With everything from single-use hardware to laptops strapped to the back of a TV, we've seen it all. After years and years of working with organizations, it's easy to see that legacy hardware and fragmented software environments add complexity to digital signage being approachable, scalable, and cost-effective. These gray, black, and sometimes purple boxes litter the environment of digital communication. There are literally thousands of variations with some counting features such as a slim profile or fan lift, or even better, comes with Wi-Fi included. And it's not all doom and gloom recently. Many of these brands have finally begun to release 4K versions of their devices. The struggle is real and we're here to help you save time and money with our digital signage solution. So true to Jamf's passion, there are only three steps required to make this simple and easy for your organization. With Apple TV and Carousel, we've seen average savings of about 66% across digital signage deployments. And that's just the hardware and software savings, not to mention the time savings that come with Apple's deployment programs, such as Apple Business Manager, Jamf's zero-touch deployment support to skip the setup screen and seamlessly deploy the applications, and Carousel's intuitive platform that streamlines content management and deployment across any screen Yes, that includes a map screensaver and their app for iPad. So before we get into how all of this works, let me introduce you to Eric Henry, a friend of ours and a great partner, president of Carousel Digital Signage, to share about their platform and why more and more companies are choosing Carousel Digital Signage for their digital signage needs. Thanks for the introduction, 
appreciate the opportunity to share with you today. Certainly, uh, as, as Rick has shared, the digital signage landscape over the years has been quite complicated. And at Carousel, as you can see, sort of our mission really is to help people feel welcomed, informed, and connected using signage wherever they gather. And, and that means that you need to be able to get into conference rooms and back office operations and on shop floors and in retail spaces. And so often, historically, we've been limited in, in the hardware that we can leverage as Carousel. And in 2017, that world really did change when the Apple TV became a managed device and we were able to partner with Jamp and really develop a solution that, that addressed a lot of the challenges with managing digital signage networks. And so we're gonna have an opportunity to kind of dive into some of that today. But, but as Carousel, we've been around since 1997, sort of journeying along as this digital signage space was even created and imagined uh, from the uh, genesis of flat panel displays all the way to managed Apple TV devices, allowing us to do things that we've never been able to do before. And so really the bulk of the, the day that we're gonna uh, spend together here, actually not a day, maybe about a half an hour, is just kind of diving in and, and hearing a little bit from Chris, sharing a little bit about Carousel and how, how we all fit together along the story. So with that, I'll keep kind of jumping in here a little bit and we'll go into looking at clear communication using Carousel. And so really at the core of it, it has to be easy to deploy. And we're gonna talk a little bit more about that. Adopt, maintain, and expand. And, and I'm really excited to see what Camping World has done already and what they're planning to do in the future because I think the story is, is really powerful. Because ultimately what we're really trying to do is communicate with our staff and our employees and our customers and really engage them in, in really effective ways, cutting through all the noise of all the other communication mechanisms that we have and really delivering the message that we want right to our people right where they are. And we also want to take advantage of things like Power BI and dashboarding to, to get that information, that critical business analytics data or sales performance or shop information in the service center right onto screens because that's really where it's effective. And the ability to take news feeds and integrate calendars and create messages all of those types of things are really what create a valuable signage network. It's one thing to put something on the screen, but it's a whole nother thing to make sure that we're taking all of that great information that we have that exists in other systems and present that very beautifully and concisely and effectively ultimately to the people that need to know that information in their spaces. And so as we continue on, just a little bit of how it works. We're not gonna deep dive today because we wanna spend most of our time hearing from Chris about what they're doing at Camping World. But digital signage uh, from Carousel's perspective, we know we do the content management sites. So we're starting here on the left and we're logging into our web server and, and creating content with Carousel. There's all kinds of great templates, the ability to connect all of our third-party data or schedule Power BI bulletins, all the different types of things that you would imagine with content management happen on the left. And so you schedule all that content, you decide where it goes, whether it's local or somewhere else around the world and when it's gonna play. And that goes to a media player And the Apple TV calls back to that server and says, hey, what do you have for me to play today and tomorrow and the next day? And it grabs all its content, it plays it locally. So again, that's really important from a bandwidth perspective. So as, as we really are getting uh, much more video intensive in our world, having the ability on an Apple TV with all of the storage that it offers as a media player again, as Rick mentioned in beautiful 4K, is, is really effective and is also much lower bandwidth because we're, we're caching content, we're controlling all that, and we're driving a display ultimately. So that's you know, pretty much the nuts and bolts of how Carousel and an Apple TV drive to a display. We're gonna talk a little bit more about how we actually manage those three things together. But really, kind of hitting on the biggest challenge that we see in running a digital signage network comes down to the ability to deploy the devices and then actually manage the updates and the, the ongoing maintenance of the media players. And so when you get to any sort of scale, what you'll you'll hear as, as Rick was kind of drawing these pictures of all these different these different media player devices, the fundamental challenge that our customers voice to us is how in the world do we manage all of these devices over time? 
not only just getting them deployed initially, but ongoing updates, feature enhancements, those types of things. How do we push those across 1,000, 2,000, 5,000 devices without hiring lots and lots of people to administer the network? How do we get re really good reporting on devices that are online? Or if one goes down in the field, how do we quickly ship one out to the edges and have somebody plug it in because we don't want to roll a truck or send a technician to a storefront? And that is where Carousel Jamp and Apple TV together are just a revolutionary story. There really is literally nothing else like it in the world. We love to call it shrink wrap to signage, this idea that I can purchase 100 Apple TVs or 1,000 Apple TVs and say, this is exactly how I want them provisioned. This is what I want playing. And I can ship it out to 200 stores or 500 stores. Or if it's just a single replacement or having one sit on the shelf, hey, go ahead and take that thing, unplug it, plug it into the wall. And in two and a half minutes or so, you'll be having carousel digital signage. It will report back and tell it what it's playing. And it's it really is a beautiful story. So with that, I want to shoot it back over to Rick and he can cover a little bit of how we get this shrink wrap to signage thing to happen from a technical perspective. Absolutely. Thank you, Eric. Yeah, shrink wrap to, to signage. So Apple's deployment programs such as Apple Business Manager and Apple School Manager for schools make it easy for you to have an Apple TV device directly shipped to the point of display. Fresh out of the box and powered on, the user can connect directly to the internet through Ethernet or Wi-Fi, and Jam takes over the rest. The workflow is possible via a pre-stage enrollment and the skipping of setup screens. And lastly, automatically assigning the device to a dynamic smart group within Jam Pro. Apps get assigned with their unique configuration pre-populated so that the Carousel app knows what content to display from your organization's portal. And of course, you can restart, reset, and erase your Apple TV all remotely right from within Jamf. No matter where your devices are, you can remotely manage your digital signage deployment. We'll hear from Chris over at Camping World here in a minute on how that added tremendous value to him and his team as they were given the task to deploy digital signage across their 180 plus store network. However, let's get it back over to Eric to hear a little bit more about Carousel and what all of this actually allows you to do. Thanks, Rick. Yep, so just a few more ideas on what it might look like. We see across our customer base all kinds of exciting uses of Carousel from retail storefronts to high traffic areas. We also see it in break rooms in also, also other places throughout our facilities. And really, ultimately, just placing it in conference rooms, in common areas, and even on the, sh the, the shelf within the storefront to really communicate to our customers, to our employees, the most real-time information about a special or celebrating an employee in a break room or reinforcing our company core values. And so especially in retail, we see this, this great mix of, of on the floor communications as well as the back office communications. And we've had to have this ability to really be dynamic, especially in the last 18 months as things have been so fluid in our world with different policies and procedures around how we use our facilities. So we've seen signage show up in so many different places. And while we're certainly focusing on Apple TV, I've loved to see how, how people are leveraging the iPad as a signage endpoint as well with, again, being able to put it right on the counter uh, in a storefront application or even in a back office or even for remote employees. And so there's just so many ways that you can really leverage Carousel and Jamf and Apple, and it's 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 been really fun to see how people have been leveraging that technology to push kind of the the edge of the story. And the other thing that I want to kind of highlight, and and certainly has been great with Camping World, is the story around Power BI, and really what we're seeing in retail and manufacturing, especially, also in corporate communications, is the ability to take Power BI, which is aggregating all of this incredible data in real time for our organizations. And again, getting them off of a screen buried somewhere on, on our laptops or our desktops and putting them out for people in real time. And that has really changed the value proposition and story for many of our customers. From the shop floor to people knowing how they're doing on a daily basis to real time sales performance and even 
a, you know, and spurring on a little bit of competition and celebrating big wins within an organization to even our service techs, knowing exactly what's happening with Power BI dashboarding and even the ability actually to take and, and present JAMP data. If you happen to be a JAMP IT admin and you want to see how things are going across your network and things, there's just so many ways that we're seeing people leverage sort of big data, presenting it in beautiful ways, in useful ways, in real time. And that that is really the power of Power BI combined with our solution. And, and we love just seeing all of the, the creative ways that people are again using Power BI in their organizations. And one other thing I just wanna to touch on really quickly is an example of, of how deep the integration between Jamp and Carousel and Apple TV goes. And throughout our history, one of my desires has been to, to get really deep into the places where people gather. So conference rooms, classrooms, break rooms, all those places where it's it's traditionally been a little bit more difficult to communicate with our people. And when you do that, the ability to also inform people in an emergency is, is much more potent and much more compelling. And with Apple TV, the ability to airplay is also a really high value story. So you imagine you take your, your iPad and you're airplaying uh, up to your Apple TV, but in a situation where I actually need to present an emergency notification or even just welcoming somebody or a morning announcement or other things that are really important messages to deliver in real time, we built an integration where Carousel can actually tell Jamp to change its configuration profile, disable AirPlay and put Carousel in full screen mode. And that really is a powerful story because at any camping world around the country, they can immediately trigger an emergency notification or just another alert throughout the store that they want with one trigger and it can take over the entire network. It could actually put carousel into single app mode, it can disable AirPlay sessions. If you have a sales associate sharing from an iPad, you could even push it to the iPads if you'd like to. And so that really is a compelling story as well. And, and sort of one of those things you, you get for free <laughs> with, your, with your carousel investment with Apple TV and Jamf and it, it really has changed the game and the story for quite a few customers. And so I just wanted to take a, a moment to highlight that as well. And now, finally, <laughs> we get to the opportunity, the, the reason that you're all here. We wanted to give a little bit of background about Jamf and Carousel, but I am really excited to have Chris join us today. He's the Apple administrator over at Camping World, and he is leading the charge with supporting and managing this entire fleet of Apple devices throughout their organization. And so if you don't know about Camping World, the, the, the cool thing is this is actually a, a worldwide broadcast uh, that we're sharing with you today. So there's, there's a likelihood that if you're not in the United States, you might not be familiar with Camping World. So just a, a few highlights. Camping World is actually located in Lincolnshire, Illinois, and they are a big camping and outdoor retailer. I happen to live in the state of Minnesota in the northern United States and we love getting outdoors and Camping World really is the go-to name in that space. Whether we're getting our gear, whether we're buying an RV or getting it serviced, that is that is what Camping World is all about. They've been around since 1966 and they have over 150 locations across 36 states in the United States and they have this huge portfolio of, of brands, including Gander Mountain, Gander Outdoors, <laughs> Good Sam, Overton's, and many others. And so that is really a great organization that we are very excited to work with. And with that, Chris, I would love to hear a little bit about why you came to Carousel, what caused this initial need for you to look at signage, and, and what you were really hoping to solve at Camping World. Uh, welcome. Uh, thank you for, for taking the time to watch, to join the webinar. There's a lot of reasons why we were looking at digital signage and a lot of it comes down to data availability, uh, whether data availability to employees, whether it's to customers. One of the, the challenges that we experienced is exponential company growth. There's, uh, with growth, Sometimes you experience problems, and one of the big things was data availability. Sales managers weren't able to see, uh, without jumping through a lot of hoops, information about 
units that we had on the lots that were available for sale, how many leads were there, who was following up on those leads. They weren't able to see that. They would have to go in, log in on their computer, log into Power BI, try to pull that report. And all of that takes time. Uh, when you're trying to do that multiple times a day, it just multiplies the amount of time uh, that it takes. There's one of the problems that's also happened with opening new stores is we had a fragmented signage tools. Some of the locations were using a TV and they had an iPad that was connected to it that was playing a slideshow. We had some locations that actually had physical slides that went into like a pegboard uh, with like a price and a, a service item or whatever, or, or a item price. So this really came down to, you know, can we find one solution for all of the data availability that we need for the service technicians in order for a service technician who actually repairs the RVs for our customers they would have to talk to their manager and that manager would have to run the report to find out where they're at for that week. And so a lot of this, you know, it involved so many people to pull a simple report that really should be available almost on demand. And so that was one of the reasons that we looked into solutions for signage. Excellent. Kind of the next question for you. I'm curious if you could share a little bit about how you are leveraging Carousel to support your sales team. Sure. So the the RV sales reps that work in our locations have a lot of different things that they can sell, a lot of things that customers are interested in. Those sales reps didn't necessarily have an easy way to find that information. All of this information was in Salesforce and Power BI, and so a lot of that just needed to be pulled out and be able to be displayed. When you get into the, the verbiage that Carousel uses, we use a bulletin that pulls information dynamically. Every The refresh rate I think we have is 15 seconds. So almost to the, to the second, they can see availability for units, they can see how many they have, they can see which ones they have. The ability to pull that sales information, whether it's for a sales manager, whether it's for regional manager, senior VP, all of this information is now available for all the different levels of management, whether it's a GM, a sales manager, some of the senior VPs have these in their office now. The Once you have that data built, that information is quickly scalable to all the different locations. So for the, the real-time data accessibility for all levels of management extends from the people who are local in the stores all the way up to the people who work in remote offices, could be working from home up to the senior VP level. Excellent, and if we could kind of circle back, you you touched on the, the top of your introduction, the idea of your service repair technicians getting out of date information throughout the day. So if you could maybe expand a little bit more in how you're leveraging Power BI and Carousel for your camp, uh, your technicians, I'd love to hear that. Sure. Anytime a service technician logs into a job to work on a repair, whether it's maintenance, whether it's a collision repair, they log in and they're they're putting their time into you know one of those systems but they don't really and never really have had an easy way for themselves to go in and look at week to date numbers, month to date numbers, year to date numbers for for their own productivity. So with some of the Power BI integration, we have a display set up in the shop where they can quickly go in and just say, "Oh, there's my name and I can look at their their daily, weekly, monthly and yearly productivity rates, which is fantastic." Previously, what they would have to have done is, again, go to their manager. They would have to pull a report, which takes a couple minutes every time they do that. If you're in one of the bigger shops and you got 14 people and they do that twice a day, that's three hours of productivity lost just to simply run reports. That uh, sounds like quite a big deal. So I would love to hear, it sounds like you have a few more thoughts for us in terms of other ways that you've experienced the benefits of Carousel and Apple TV. So if you could maybe just touch on a few more things for the people that are tuning in today. Sure. One of the one of the problems that we had that we were looking for a solution for is the data, the data availability for customers. What is the price of an item? What are the specials going on? 
And one of the things that was happening in all of the locations is they were all finding a different way to do it. They were hooking up a computer to a TV and running a slideshow. Some had those pegboards with physical slides, which is archaic. And so we want that to all be consistent regardless of which location they're at. They see the same style of presentation for information. So being in the outdoor and camping world, a lot of our customers travel. They might go up and down the east or west coast. They might go from the Midwest to the west, west to the east. And so they visit, a lot of our customers visit more than one location. And so we want that to be consistent for them. That way they don't feel like they're in a different company every time they go. If you go from a company that has, you know, a slideshow with a computer hooked up to a TV and then you go to a place that's using like stanchions, it's just an overall different experience. So trying to create that cohesive environment for all of our customers helps create that brand recognition. Uh, one of the other things that has come up in people sort of hearing that we're working on a digital signage is from the marketing team. And the marketing team, we have a land and water show that we do every year. And it highlights products, it highlights services. They go through in-depth reviews, in-depth how-tos. And previously they've been doing a broadcast, but if you didn't know about it, you had to go to our you had to go to our website, then you had to pull up the stream. We had no real good way to present that to customers. And so once the land and water show is done, it's about a two week or 10 days of presentations. We had no good way to present that to our customers. So they're look, we're going to roll out TVs that are mounted on the ceilings in the customer waiting areas so that they can see those highlights. Chris, I love that you share this idea of being able to create a consistent customer experience. Often we think especially from a marketing perspective, a, a consistent brand experience, but you're you're taking that a step further of saying, wherever you go across the country, you get the same experience as you go into a, a Camping World store and even potentially your other brands, it sounds like in the future. And I also love that your marketing team is starting to imagine new ways that they can leverage this platform because ultimately at the end of the day, right, we're, we're making these investments so that they can be utilized at a high level, right? That That's the stuff that gets us excited. I think that's what gets Jamf excited is hearing about all of the ways that you can take this technology and use it to really advance your organization and making sure your employees feel connected, your customers feel like they have a great uh, experience within your stores and that they get all the information they need to make a good uh, buying decision. And so I, I do really appreciate you taking the time today to share with us the Camping World experience. And I'm, I'm curious if you have anything else that you would uh, sort of impart <laughs> as wisdom for us uh, in those who are watching this. Any any final thoughts you have for us as, as we wrap up today? Yeah, I'll share a story that actually happened this weekend that sort of hit home and it's kind of, it's almost weird to think about, but we went to another retailer to pick up some sporting good equipment, which we don't sell. And in order to do that, we were obviously walking into the store with my kids and they had like a promotion thing set up on a metal stanchion and my kid walked right into it and the corner of the display was at his forehead. And so, and when he ran into it, it like, I mean, it hurt. And so it was one of those moments where I realized like, this is a problem that I really never thought about, but we're solving that with digital signage. And as it, you know, it may seem like a stretch, but one of those things, you know, stanchions are trip hazards. People walk into them, they get knocked over, they're not sturdy. Carousel and Jamf are solving that problem for us as well. Thanks for sharing that with us. All right, Rick, let's kick it back over to you. All right. Thank you, Eric. Thank you, Chris. Awesome information, fantastic story. Let's recap real quick before we get into some Q&A. So we covered Apple TV-based digital signage, how Carousel brings the signage to life with meaningful content, why Jamf and Carousel are truly better together, and we heard from Chris around what the solution means to his organization, Camping World. So if you're looking to find additional resources, head on over to jamf.com or simply send an email to info at jamf.com. We'll be responding to you rather quickly. And there's always so much more for you to learn 
learn about VR Marketplace at jamf.com. There you'll find partners like Carousel Digital Signage and their technology integrations with the Jamf platform. With 250 integrations currently available on the marketplace, we're sure you'll find something that can help you and your organization. And of course, we are nothing without our community, and that's validated in Champ Nation. This online forum is home to over 100,000 Apple IT-focused individuals that learn from each other, discuss best practices, and have access to a wealth of resources and third-party tools. Create a free account today and join in, in the discussion. If you're interested in trialing Jamf and learning more about managing and deploying your Apple fleet, scan the QR code on the screen and get started today. If you have some questions, we're live now to provide you answers, so feel free to drop them in the chat and we'll be happy to navigate through them together. Otherwise, reach out to our team through info at jamf.com and let us know how we can help. Again, thanks for joining us today and being a part of our webinar, Simplifying Digital Signage with Apple TV.